Claymore's Zcash AMD GPU Miner version 1.0 for Windows. If we go to bitcointalk.org, the Bitcoin forum, we can see that Claymore has released a Zcash AMD GPU Miner version 1.0 for Windows. Now I won't bother going over all of the variables, but some things you can keep in mind are that you're going to want to have 16 gigabytes of virtual memory in your Windows, so you might want to make sure that that's set. The other thing is, is that he does take a 2.5% development fee, so every hour it'll mine for 90 seconds to his own account. He recommends Catalyst drivers 15.12. The drivers above 15 also tend to work fine. I didn't find any problems with that. This is the Windows version, and there should be a Linux version in about two days. I did not see anything about when he might come out with an NVIDIA version, although I assume that there will be an NVIDIA version soon enough. And again, you can read through all of the variables, because there's a lot of variables. It'll be really boring if I read it off to you. So you can check into there. You can set the GPU temperature, clock speed, memory clock speed. You can set fan speed, minimums, maximums. You can set a lot of things in the settings. There's a restarts, restart timers, a lot of different settings. So just read through that. I won't waste your time reading through it all because it'll take a long time and you'll get really bored. We can download it through the Google or Mega Links. So I'll open my download folder. I'll extract the zip folder. Go into that folder. Then I'm going to open the start command and edit that. Go back to the Bitcoin talk page, scroll up and copy these environment variables into the top of my start command. And then I'm going to scroll down and get the command line for a fly pool. There's a number of pools you can use it on, Supernova, Nice Hash, Mining Pool Hub, Nano Pool, and Fly Pool. So I'm going to use Fly Pool. I'll copy that command. paste it into my start batch file and I'm going to take my address and rig name copy that and paste it over the default address and your worker name and again you can change your server from EU to China to US so I'll use US now I'll save this file close it and then launch the miner by clicking on start now this is six GPUs 470s and a 480 this is on normal overclock settings sapphire nitro no mod these numbers might be a bit lower because I am using a screen recorder to record this You can see it's hashing away, getting about 35 to 40 hashes per second. This is about the same speed as the Silent Army miner or the Zog miner. Here is the seven GPUs. These are modified, modified BIOS here. And these will get a little bit faster, uh, generally between 40 and 50. Maybe averaging out around 44 or 45. Getting a lot of shares. This is two 295 times twos, and they get between 45 and 50. 
they tend to kind of slow down a little bit when I turn on the screen recorder, but generally they're getting close to 50, between 45 and 50 on each GPU. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.